Hello everybody, Tahoe Yak Fisher here. I'm going to do a video today about the benefits of a milk crate over a cheap plastic toolbox. Now one of the channels I subscribe to is Kayak Hacks. Steve does an awesome job giving us some great ideas about how we might set up our fishing kayak. And his most recent video is touting the benefits of the toolbox over the milk crate. So in response, I am going to be a little bit of a devil's advocate, and I'm going to show you what I think are the benefits of a milk crate over a plastic toolbox. Now Steve's point was if you turn the kayak over, this is going to keep your gear and float long enough to retrieve it. And I think that a milk crate provides many attachment points and methods that your gear can be restrained in a usable and more reachable fashion. But I'm going to start with a comment that was made that the toolbox will keep your gear drier in the event of a rainstorm or something of that nature. And I would like to first off just debunk that. Now, I've had many of these toolboxes. This one in particular spent last winter in the back of my truck, and they are nowhere near waterproof, mostly because of these handles. Now, they've all got these plastic handles, and where they attach, there's holes that are major points of leak. Now, this one is unmodified, stock, and dry on the inside. Now we are going to do a little experiment, a little bit of simulated rain here, and I'm going to just pour some of this water on the handle. And hopefully you guys can hear this, but immediately it starts leaking into the toolbox now. Let's open the lid here, and there you have it. That's going to fill up with water pretty quickly if there's enough water added to the lid of that box. Now, let's face it guys, we're kayak fishing. Everything has to be waterproof or made waterproof via boxes like this. This box is easy to reach, has some snacks, usually it has my fishing license. A few other things that I would like to keep dry. I keep my phone in there things of that nature. It's easily accessible. I'm using a tarp tie to attach it. Now I've talked about this before. I love these tarp ties. You can fish it anywhere through the milk crate that you like without permanently attaching it. Put a carabiner on the other end and whatever you would like attached to the milk crate is going to stay there. I have a number of them. I have a tarp tie holding my net, tarp tie holding my pliers and my lip grip. All of these things, my pliers, they stretch far enough to remove a hook without removing the tool from the milk crate. My lip grip is the same. As a matter of fact, if I catch fish big enough, I can lip grip the fish and drop it over the side of the kayak and keep it with the kayak in fresh water just like a stringer would. Very easy to access. Now my tackle trays, I have a bungee system in here for them. This one going across is tied in. This little bungee is not tied to anything, it's hooked on both ends. So I can move this attachment on this side and here and carry as many of these trays as I want. And I have tipped over this kayak with this milk crate and lost nothing. Everything stayed right where it belongs. Now here's where we get into real benefits. As you can see, I have a number of accessories mounted to this milk crate. I have Scotty rod holders on both sides. They can be put, this is in the position that I put it in to troll. I have a three rod holder back here that not only stores my net, but also carries rods that I want to carry with me. I've showed everybody this in a previous video, a flagpole holder that I've turned into a camera mount that can be mount, uh, adjusted at many different angles including all the way underwater if I want underwater shots 
all of this stuff is attached. It's not going anywhere in the event of a tip over. And everywhere there's a hole in this thing, there can be a tarp tie attaching something. Now, furthermore, accessibility, all of this stuff is easily reachable. This bungee cord holds this tackle tray in well enough that I'm not gonna lose it, but I can take it out easy enough to get the tackle I want and put it right back in. Now that's not something you're gonna get with one of these tackle or one of these toolboxes. First of all, how are you gonna mount it without drilling holes in it? Now, one of my big problems with these plastic toolboxes is they are flimsy. You start drilling holes for hooks and stuff, not only are you taking away from the box being waterproof, but you are gonna compromise its structure quickly. And now I haven't figured out how I would mount this box because I'm not interested in using it, but I doubt it would be feasible to mount it like this. It is more likely it would have to end up mounted like this. And you're gonna tip over just trying to unlatch it and get stuff out of it. Whereas a milk crate is gonna keep everything very easy to reach. It's self bailing You can splash it, rain on it as much as you want. Everything you wanna keep dry is easily stowed in something that is gonna be a lot drier than one of these toolboxes. And mounting the crate to the kayak is a piece of cake. Now, Steve has a canoe kayak hybrid. He doesn't have a traditional tank well with a bungee system like the kayaks that I have had. But I have had a total of five kayaks with a tank well similar to this with a factory bungee system all different manufacturers, all different styles of kayaks, and every single one of them I was able to adapt this factory bungee system in a manner to restrain the milk crate so that it will not come out of the kayak without permanently modifying the bungee system. This one is no exception. As a matter of fact, I built this PVC frame to elevate my milk crate, and with a slight modification to the bungee routing. This bungee system keeps that frame in place when I'm storing the kayak. And basically all I had to do is unhook the bungee from this side and move it to this side so it has this one extra crossover. And that allows me to hold both the milk crate when it is on the frame or the frame when I'm storing the kayak. So... Steve, I love your channel and I think you have great ideas, but I don't think that you have given the milk crate uh, a fair opportunity to prove its worth. So I just wanted to show you some of the benefits to a milk crate over a plastic toolbox. Thanks very much for watching. Tell me what you guys think. Tight lines. Yakfish are out.